Hi guys, you're welcome to Covet Magazine and you're welcome to today's video. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome to the Covet Magazine gang. And if you're just meeting Covet Magazine the first time and you've not subscribed yet, what are you even waiting for? Subscribe and be an official Covet Magazine gang and don't miss out on all the fun things. Fashion, beauty, lifestyle, entertainment, you'll find everything here on our channel. Hey! <laughs> So in today's video, we're looking into another COVID style edit and we're visiting runways. We're visiting the Autumn Winter 2024 runways. I call them Autumn Winter 2024 runways just because it makes sense. Although most of the brands, um, when they want to introduce the, the, the runway, they call it um, Autumn Winter 2023 through 2024 runway. I believe the I believe the runways are autumn winter 2024 runways. They're not autumn winter 2023 because we've already experienced the autumn winter 2023 runways. So it's time for us to have fun with the autumn winter 2024 runways. So it's and the options are all up to us how we decide to wear them. Whether in autumn winter 2023 into autumn winter 2024, it's our business. But it is autumn winter 2024 collection, and um, we love the runways. So um, sorry about the sorry about. <laughs> Sorry about the what should I call that? Is it braggish or naggish? So, so sorry about all that. Anyway, so yeah, Covet Magazine made a stop at, at various runways from um, from Victoria Beckham to Stella McCartney to Balenciaga to Giorgio Armani, um, including Prada and so on. And we made a stop there. We looked at what the the brands um, the designers have to put on, on the market. We have to put on. To us, we, we the audience, the buyer and the, the fashionistas, the fashion lovers and so on. And we love a few pieces and we do not love some. You know, we, I have one, just a, one um, reservation about Victoria Beckham's um, Autumn Winter 2024 runway. Just one, the patchwork, the, 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 I believe there the are about three dresses that has, um, the, 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 I think they both had these gorgeous patchworks going on. I won't call them gorgeous, but messy yeah a messy patchwork and i do not like it it does not look stylish to me it might be appealing to some other people but i don't think it is um stylish so that's the the first reservation about um i, be, I believe that's the only reservation about victoria beckham's um, runway otherwise all the pieces are so beautiful I actually spotted one gorgeous piece that i believe it it should be the trend it should go viral it has this gorgeous structural design on the skirt and um and it was finished with a with sweater right on top of it and it was tucked in right in the front it's red up to up to um like head to toe kind of red color tone so beautiful very very gorgeous i believe it's very stylish i believe it's very edgy and it's the edginess is just that subtle that subtle structural stuff going on on the side that's just the simple edge in in the overall look and i love it so much so that's i believe that's one of the best um best moments on victoria beckham's runway and who, who else um off-white played with a lot of um raggish knit knitwear which is also spot the spotted trend on the runway as well it played with a lot of raggish knit knitwear and to me it's a love and eight kind of um style look for me i believe that if i'm going to wear it or advise you to wear um the raggish knitwear i believe you can just play with it at the upper part of the body and keep the the um the bottom part of the body very classic and stylish if you know what i mean so i would wear something like um uh, say for example a leather pants a, a, a long a long wide leg leather pants at the bottom and then wear the the, the raggish sweater on top just give it a slight token in the front and i'll be good to go so i believe that's the way you can wear it but not edge to toe edge to toe is just so annoying and um i don't like it so i won't recommend it so what other reservation do i have um there there aren't any much or uh, reservations otherwise the runways they're so beautiful Stella McCartney nailed it um many um uh, what, what else nailed it as well many other brands that we love so much they all nailed it on the runway and um so let me just um take you through the spotted trend because we have to talk about the trend oh yeah um one more thing before we move on to the trend i realized that the there the weren't too much trends created not nothing new they, they're like um autumn winter 23 uh, autumn winter 23 trends they're kind of given like a little bit of updates in autumn winter 24 runway so the trends remain the same from from last season being brought forward to this season 
and with a little update here and there so that's the another reservation in a, in a good way that i noticed minimalism is still very much it's still going very strong the designers are not going they're not going overly overly um creative they're just keeping everything very simple and um we love that we're embracing that so without wasting too much of time what are the trains spotted on spotted on these runways all right so the first train spotted on the on the runway it's like a patent leather patent leather trouser it's going it's i believe it's the trend of the season and it's going viral i love it so much and i love the way victoria beckham actually styled it she kept the patent trouser she kept the patent leather as a trouser wide leg trousers a long line wide leg trousers and it's very important it has to be long line to have fun with these um leather trousers a long line wide leg trousers with a beautiful gorgeous um sweater right on top of it tucked in the front and the model look oh, looked also chic and beautiful i'll definitely I, I love that i love that trend i believe it's the new trend i didn't see it last season i didn't see much of a patent leather last season but i believe that's the only new trend that was spotted on the runways um this um, season many designers also played with the patent leather as well um so Evening wears, evening wears. It's another, it's another trend that was spotted, and I believe um, the designers are kind of predicting that you know what, these um autumn winter, the next autumn winter twenty four coming forward, we would, we would definitely be going out a lot, a lot of um dinner dates, a lot of wedding dinners, a lot of um red carpets after parties and so on that i believe that's the prediction a, a lot of evening ways and i believe it's it's beautiful we, we can go wrong with it so uh, that's another spotted trend another spotted trend would be the monocolor style trend and this is from last season the monocolor style trend is still reigning supreme and we love it so much um michael Kors played with it um louis louis played with it as well um who else played with it many many brands they played with the monocolor edge to toe one color style look and i believe you can go wrong with, with it so um another spotted trend would be the pointy toe heels so either in slip back palms or in a full palms and we're loving it so much pointy toe heel, uh, slip back palms have gone viral right now it's been around since the last season and it's still going on strong this season this autumn winter season and i believe it's something we can even start having fun with from this um spring summer 2023 that we are so i believe um you can't go wrong with with it so <laughs> i love that oh yeah the oversized blazer they're going bigger and they're going stronger oversized oversized blazer is it's been around for many seasons now we're looking at um, three to four or five more seasons that it's been around and many designers are giving giving the the trend the new updates every season they bring it uh, they bring it out and this season saint lauren actually said you know what let's go broad shoulder and he really went for it he played with the 80s vibe style look and he exaggerated the shoulders very very well and i love i love the structure i love the design i love the minimalism in everything very very chic very simple yet very very edgy as well so the blazers are getting bigger every season and if if it is if a designer does not play with the broad shoulder some of them go for like a structural sleeves structural sh shoulders and so on they you know they play with various the various structures some go with rounded silhouettes and so on so many designers play play with blazers oversized blazers so Save your money to invest in a good oversized blazer. I be believe me, you will definitely have fun. Everything big. We love it. <laughs> I believe we love it. We love it. We're not ready to let it go. It's prob I believe it's going to it's become the new classic now. So I believe it's become the new classic. So it, it must have. It must have. <laughs> We're just not going for the fitted ones and all the boring ones. We want some. The bigger it is, the better. <laughs> <laughs> There are a lot of um, share and lingerie dresses, which to me, if you ask me, I, I don't, I do, I do not know what I want to do with a lingerie dress and um and uh, share dresses in autumn winter season because it's really cold. So how am I going to wear it? Although very sexy, very beautiful, but how am I going to wear it? It's cold outside. You know it's cold everywhere <laughs> but very gorgeous i believe it's something which we, we can have fun with in, in spring summer season so if um, if the designers kind of 
uh, put them out in uh, in autumn winter season just save them for for the next spring summer season I, be, I don't believe they're going anywhere soon many designers are going back to it over and over again and the only difference right now that it's is that it's become a trend and in fact dolce and gabbana will, went wild with this some um, shade dressing and lingerie dressing it went wild the brand will went wild and um I just believe it's for summer, spring, summer 2024 season. Yeah, I believe it was spring, summer 2024 season. Autumn, it's a season. Uh, you might not have, fun, have as much fun as you will in spring, summer season. You can wear it in the only, while on holiday, while going out for dinner dates and so on. It's so beautiful, by the way. Very gorgeous. Just, I'm not just sure if it's for uh, if it's for uh, a autumn, winter, an autumn, winter runway, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, the coat dresses are also going strong as well, and I love it so much. Um, Saint Laurent played with it last season. Many the many brands are playing with it this season as well. Although Saint Laurent didn't play with so much with coat dresses because I believe he's already he's he's already done that last season. And um, but many designers are catching up with that trend right now, and this they they're refusing they're refusing to let it go. And I believe it's something that we should all look towards. It, the the coat dress is so beautiful, and in various designs. Or off, I believe off white actually made it some um, um, strapless or sh like shoulderless strapless. Is that what they call it? Strapless and made it strapless and uh, other many other designers made you know made it different this time around. But it remained the same coat dress and it's so gorgeous. Sometimes I believe the head to toe, the head to toe covered coat coat dress is very sexy in autumn winter season. Very very sexy with your with your gorgeous um, ankle pointy ankle boots. Very beautiful. So it makes you imagine what's in that. It to talk covered up what in the heck <laughs> that's the that kind of sexiness so i love it <laughs> cargo mini skirts is going strong it's remained this trend it's i believe it's the spring summer 2023 trend many designers are carrying it over to autumn winter 2024 which i believe we can have fun with in autumn winter season and in spring summer season i believe louis louis played with it a lot this um for autumn winter season and um we love it so much i love it it's so, so gorgeous very edgy very different very very gorgeous cold find must have please don't go away don't go away cargo mini skirts <laughs> so it's going on strong and it remains on the autumn winter runway um the oversized silhouette oversized silhouette is also going on strong louis brought louis actually went for like oversized cardigan louis hmm, how bold are you oversized cardigan with like um um bermuda bermuda trousers oh beautiful very gorgeous just pair it with your beautiful ankle uh, point, pointed ankle boots pointed ankle boots and you will look also chic and gorgeous the, the outfit is so gorgeous so look out for the outfit on the runway in case you manage to lay your hands on it before they sell out they probably sold out by now because many retailers and other buyers all over the world they, they've placed an order for all the for all the collection so immediately just look out for it the minute that we have probably two weeks or three weeks before for autumn winter season images go to the to the designers and try and lay your hands on them this cardigan it's like a gray it's the, the model actually wore it like a, a, a monocolor look so edge to toe grayish monocolor look so it's so beautiful and the colors the colors that are actually very common in the monocolor edge to toe monocolor looks are like um gray um caramel and um something close to burgundy but yeah let's call it burgundy so I believe those are the color trained in the monocolor style look. So if you're looking into that style look, it's still going strong and we're loving it so much. We're not ready to let go. I pray it becomes the new new classic. I pray it becomes the new classic. It's so gorgeous. Because it used to be the it used to be like the bad the bad um style look in the past before head to toe matchy color like it looks so predictable and, you know back then it used to it has to have an edge and so on but now it's like the best who made it go away who made it go away so we love the monocolor etuto monocolor look and louis kind of incorporated that etuto monocolor look into like oversized silhouette trend as well it's so beautiful and i believe um 
is a style look we should look forward to to having this season so gorgeous hot pants hot pants are going on going on strong and i just wonder where am i going to wear hot pants too when it's freezing cold out there but Miu Miu actually made it possible so you can pair it with your favorite tight just make sure it's ideally tight you know there are a lot of um, fun tight out there that you can actually wear they look like they look like close to skin like bare skin but they're they're very they have like four inset for extra warmth so they look very like skin tone color tone tight but they have um, four inset inside them so maybe you can wear it with this gorgeous hot pant but i doubt <laughs> how will it look how will it look but anyway you can still wear it with your favorite tight if you can bear the cold why not just put on tie high boots to finish it yeah tie high boots with tights and the hot pants and then your sweater right on top Miu Miu played with it and it looks so chic and sexy very beautiful i love it so much but it's just uh, it's cold it's cold season i believe it's great for summer season but anyway you can style it that way and you'll still have fun with it if you do not mind just to you know fun ways to wear it anyway so we still have the elevated basics going on elevated basics was very common on the prada's autumn winter 2024 runway prada played with a lot of cotton cotton dresses shirt dresses and so on and um the brand just had a little bit added a little bit of um tail like tail to rates compared i mean i think he played with the with something simple like that about two seasons ago where he added sashes to the mini skates so he added trains to the to the t-shirt uh, t dresses this time this time around cotton cotton t-shirt dresses in white and many other colors and i believe they're so beautiful very very gorgeous he also played with the with the um with the sheer um skirt and the sweater in a different way i believe he, he made it a little a little bit more much more textured giving us like mixture of couture and everyday everyday standard wear so a mixture of couture and the couture uh, would be around the mini skirt and the the middle length skirt which have much more like a texturedness going on a lot of works done to it and then it um he managed to keep everything simple with the sweater with the classic sweater that we know basic gray sweater and so and other colors and so on and i believe it's very beautiful it's something that we would definitely have fun in the autumn winter season you know so we're looking forward to autumn winter season those style looks are so beautiful elevated elevated basics and um cotton mid mid standard if you know what i mean it's so gorgeous you know i'll definitely recommend i'll recommend the brands fashion pieces to you i, I couldn't find a bad a bad style look on the runway i didn't find any bad look they're all like eat 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 here and there so i love it so much elevated basics they're, they're trending right now so look for ways to have fun with your elevate, elevate with your basics and, and ways to elevate them and so on and that is what prada did on its runway and i believe it's a brand to look out for um miu miu also is following the same suit in the in that area as well so if you're looking for stuff like that go to them um uh, yeah raggish knitwear i mentioned the raggish knitwear is part of the trend of the season and this was actually found at some um, off-white runway so if you're looking into that kind of style looks and i've given you eight soap and tips on how to wear it so look out for that it's a love and eight kind of trend so definitely recommend it to you and that's it we've come to the i believe that's the end of the the train spotted i believe there's many more trains that are that were spotted but most of them have been you know have been put forward to you love the bags the bags remain very vintage the train the bags they're very vintage and very classic there there aren't any trendy trendy designs that i've actually seen anyway they're, they're very vintage and classic bags in in accessories and in shoes as well slip back pumps mostly pointy slip back pumps or bow bow on top slip um pointy flats if you know what i mean so I mean, fashion is getting simple nowadays and the simpler they become the much more sophisticated the much more the much more expensive they look if you know what i mean the less they do the more expensive the much more expensive they look in in our eyes and we love that so I believe that's what's going on so anyway without wasting too much of time here are the best style looks from the autumn winter 2024 runways yeah
for coming to today's video i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you do please give it a thumbs up we definitely appreciate it here at covet magazine do not forget to visit covetmagazines.com covetmagazines.com you will definitely have fun when you get there and the image courtesy goes to all the brands mentioned today from victoria beckham to stella mccartney to balenciaga to um to uh, Giorgio armani and so on and um don't forget we covet fashion we covered fashion <laughs> and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.